Hey guys, so I'm going to be honest with you. I will probably have maybe one more video. I don't know when this video will be uploaded, but I am going to relax from the criticism I've had of these two individuals recently. And this video isn't really about this as much. Uh, it does have screenshots because I felt they were interesting. And it's always interesting to look at a video a year or two after it has been made. So screenshots are not relevant for this discussion. I wanted to see what it would take to get banned as of recording of this video, which is Thursday night. I am not banned. Uh, I received an email one time and they really just laxed off. And it is unfortunate because I was expecting to be banned and then I would have damages. Now, a lot of you who are legal experts on Google, who have attended top law schools, I'm sure, have said, I don't really have a grounds to sue under. That really hasn't stopped anyone before. In law school, you read case law. And people sue for, to make a law school book, which I hope I can make one day. Uh, as a case, as a plaintiff or defendant, you have to be something unique. You have to be something that did not exist in the legal field before. It has to be a legal question. Now, I have a question, and the question is very simple. If someone like Wizard of the Coast takes away your digital account or takes away your uh, the ability for you to go to a GP to sell, is that, or it takes away from your ability to enjoy cards, let's say that you bought the cards to play Friday Night Magic, now you're banned for life like Jeremy is from all events. Can a private individual sue a public company under those grounds? Now, I don't know the answer to that. And that's the point. Uh, there hasn't been many cases. Uh, there hasn't been many hobby-related cases. And mainly because the plaintiff, which would be the person suing, doesn't have the resources or time or patience to... Uh, these cases last for many years. Which of course, should we go into a case... I know who their attorney is because I've talked to the general counsel multiple times and he's invited me to dinner. He actually lives in Houston. So I know what type of caliber lawyer he is. He's an excellent lawyer, very intelligent, very well known. And I'm, I'm hopefully, hopefully if it does come down to that, it will be him and they don't cheapen out on a lesser lawyer. And that's the point. We live in this great country, well, many of us live in this great country of America, and I am, I love Texas. Texas is the perfect state for me. I believe in a lot of things that people in Texas believe in, the only exception being, a uh, notable exception being my stance on immigration, where I do tend to be more liberal than conservative on that issue by quite a large margin. Now, I like testing stuff. Um, I like testing it, and it wouldn't cost me all that much because I would represent myself. It has always been one of my dreams to be in a case book of, well, so a case book, if you don't know what that is, in law school, you read cases. That's all you do. You outline cases. And what case makes it to like a tort or a criminal law? It's always these, our family law. It's these insane cases. And I think this one's pretty interesting. Uh, the judge one was not as fascinating. That's not going to make a case book. But this one could. But I don't have damages. So I've been misbehaving. I've been acting up. And they still haven't banned me. Like, I don't know what the problem is. Like, it took Emma five seconds to screenshot something. I got Travis banned. And he was on the pro tour. They took away what? They, they made him pay for his plane ticket or something ridiculous, pay taxes on his plane ticket or something, even though he couldn't go. So that was my plan. It did not work. I am shocked that it has not worked. So I am going to re-edit my plan. Uh, I, I did want to see it because it is fascinating. 
Uh, we have very expensive hobbies. Magic the Gathering is probably the most expensive card-based hobby I would imagine. And the reserve list, everyone talks about the legal implications of the reserve list, but my that that's not a legally interesting case. What because that's in contract laws. But this case, should it go, is fascinating. It's a publicly traded company that promotes semi-gambling and these cards have a secondary value that this public company can never recognize. Here's the problem from that. They cannot say my collection has a secondary value. They, they cannot, otherwise they get in the gambling. Uh, and they this has been discussed recently and different levels but they are kind of stuck if someone does present a reasonable case where you could say hey i invested so and so into this card game with the expectation and the belief that i could go to friday night magic i can especially if it's standard especially if it's something that rotates out which is everything right and you don't, you're preventing me from using the cards that I purchased for this to use in this way. Now, I'm not saying I would win the case. Uh, the probability of winning the case is slim, but that makes case law. You don't find case law that it's super easy, right? And it's like super obvious. No law student is going to read something that's super obvious, right? What would be the point of putting that in a book? No one would care. It's these crazy ones that get into the book. I would love to test it. Um, I think it's fascinating. Uh, it is something that I look at and I say to myself, huh. Because once we go, it's not just magic. Let me get straight to it. It's mobile games I'm interested in. It's mobile games. Do you know how much money gets put down in Fire Emblem Heroes or Fate Grand Order or uh, Bleach or any of these mobile games, which Magic the Gathering now has MTG Arena? And I would buy into MTG Arena. Then I would be banned. Right now, they don't know if I have an account or not. I haven't told anyone. I haven't streamed it. If I get banned, then I lose my MTG Arena account. And there is terms of service, blah, 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 blah. Right? But it's interesting. Because it is a digital product. Uh, and Magic Cards in general is a physical product with a secondary value. Is that value tied to playability or is that value tied to something else? Is it tied to the marketplace? So the argument might be I can sell my cards in a marketplace, no problem. I don't need to go to a GP. I can sell on eBay and being banned won't affect my ability to sell Magic Cards. Here's the Catch-22. That would assume they have a secondary market value. Which is what I want to pin them down to. If I can prove that the magic cards have a secondary market value, then I can prove that opening packs is opening like opening loot crates and it's actually gambling. And that is fascinating to me. Because the whole loot crate, there's been a big discussion. This is going to be interesting case law. It might be Overwatch, it might be Le uh, League of Legends doesn't really have loot crates. It might be something else. Uh, but it's interesting because the definition of gambling could change under different circumstances, right? Poker, used in, online poker was not considered gambling. And then it was, and then it got Black Friday, and then, you know, the, the state, who controls gambling? I mean, it's a lot, it's a fascinating issue. Um, it is a fascinating issue because we are in the digital realm. And as we move more and more to loot crate systems with Star Wars, I mean, every game, I think every video game will go to a loot crate system. It's just so lucrative not to. Magic Arena is a loot crate system. And we'll see um, because... It's a double-edged sword. Either magic cards have a secondary mark uh, value, and I can sell them into it, or they don't. 
and open and pack for an expedition or a masterpiece is gambling. Anyway, that is my logic. So I'm going to be nice for a little bit of time because my plan clearly did not work. Although, as of this recording, I've offered the mana source $1,000 to vote me into Hall of Fame. Um, I don't know if that's going to get me banned or not. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, bye guys.